Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So we are doing in our Dreaming Tree event this month, we're doing three of the Dreaming Tree fairy houses and today we're going to look at the Dragonfly fairy house. We're going to look at bringing it into design space and how we get it cut ready so that when you come to the event all your pieces are cut and we can just put them together. For those of you that don't know, in our group UK Cricket Creators, we do weekly free virtual events. These are great fun. You have to be a member of the group to be able to join them, but they're very informative and we do lots of different things. But something we do every month is we do a Dreaming Tree project. So this is the Dragonfly Fairy House. I'm going to add it to my cart and download it. I've downloaded the whole bundle because we're obviously doing all three of them. So I'm going to open up the bundle. And I'm going to select the Dragonfly Fairy House. I'm going to open up the SVG folder. And you'll see we've got our files there. Now normally with Dreaming Tree, they'll have a solid score line file and a perforated cut line file. With these, they've only got the perforated cuts. You can select those cut lines and turn them into score lines, but I actually prefer to keep them as perforated cuts because I find you get a much nicer fold. I'm gonna hold down my shift key and select all of my pieces. I'm going to copy them, open up my pictures and paste them into my pictures because then they're all in one place and they're easy for me to find. I can then open up Design Space, go to my Uploads, Upload Image, Browse and I can then start bringing in each of those files. It'll have an image name, I always keep it as its image name and I give it a tag as well, such as DT Dragonfly, so that they're easy for me to find and I can then upload. And I'm going to upload each of those image pieces. We're then going to select all of these pieces. And you should have 16 of them and we can then insert to our canvas. So first things first, we're going to select one of these panels with the perforated lines. I'm going to keep them as perforated cuts, but if you want to change them to score, you're just going to come over to operation and change them to a score. So this one here is set to 12 by 12. And it's part of the roof under here and you can see just a little bit of that white peeking through. So you will see it but you'll only just see it. I'm going to duplicate it. And this is of course if I want to cut them out in A4 sheets. If I'm going to keep them as 12 by 12 all I need to do is attach each of our score lines or cut lines depending on what we're doing and then go to make it. But if I want them to be A4, I need to do a little bit of work. So I'm going to select the base panel on this one. I'm going to go to my contour. I'm going to hide all contours, and then I'm just gonna bring back those two roof elements. I can then select our perforated cut lines in our layers panel, open up the contour, and remove those. I can then attach those together. With this one, I'm going to select the base cut in my layers panel, open up my contour, and just contour away these two top pieces. And then again, I'm going to select those perforated cuts and remove them. I can then close that down and attach those together. That section's now ready. This is already set to A4 and you'll see those are those beautiful swirls that you can see on our dandelion and also the middle element of our dandelion. So I'm going to put those over there. We've then got our vellum pieces which again are set to A4 
and you can see them there in all the window and doors and the side panels. Our two wood grain pattern pieces are set to A4 and that's the front panel and the back panel on our house. Our white glitter elements are already set to A4 and we can see them there around the door frame and around the roof. Our green flower leaf is already set to A4 and that's the lighter green on our flower. Our windows, our doors and our dragonfly is already set to A4 and you can see them in that lilac purple there. Our green square is already set to A4 and you can see it just poking through at the base there. The two black pieces of our dragonfly bodies are already ready and we can just see them there. Our two flowers are also set to A4, however, if we zoom in on them, you'll see they've both got these tiny little squares that don't need to be there. So I'm just going to open up my contour, contour away the square on that one, and then contour away the square on this one. And you can see our two flower pieces there. We just need to attach those two perforated cuts to our door element and then all those pieces there are ready so that leaves us with these ones. So this one's already set to A4, you can see that it's going to create part of that base and you'll see some of these and some of these will be hidden but these and these and part of this one want to be the same colour. So I'm going to leave that one as it is. This one, I'm going to duplicate it. With the duplicate, I'm going to open up my contour and I'm going to contour away this bottom section here. I can delete that perforated cut, I don't need it. And then with this top one, again, I'm going to select the base cut. I'm going to open up my contour and I'm going to take away that top section and then I'm going to attach those three or those four little perforated cuts so that's those done this piece here is set to 12 by 12 and also I want to separate my dragonfly so I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to duplicate it three times so with that first duplicate, I'm just going to take away straight away all of those perforated cuts. So I'm going to delete those. And then with the main cut, I'm going to open up my contour. Hide all my contours. Bring back my dragonfly. And then remove that top contour. And I'm then going to make him a different colour. So with this duplicate, again, I'm going to select the main base cut, open up my contour. I can take away my dragonfly. And I'm going to take away these two pieces here as well. If I then select the perforated cut file, I can again open up my contour. and just contour away these ones. I can then close that down. This is now set to A4 and I can attach those lines to the base cuts. Again, I'm going to select this one, select the base cut, open up my contour and I can contour away this whole section here. Close that down select the perforated cuts and contour away the ones that I don't need. We can then close that down and attach those pieces together. That then leaves us with our base piece and the main leaf piece of our flower. So we can see our base piece there and the main leaf piece. All I'm going to do is duplicate it on this one, I'm going to take away those perforated cuts straight away. 
and then contour away that base piece so I'm left with just my leaf and I'm going to change the colour on that And then with this one, I'm going to select the base cut, open up my contour, and just contour away that leaf. And then, of course, I can attach those perforated cut lines to that base. And that is it ready to cut in A4, so I can then go to make it. We are going to need everything cut ready for this event and also if you've got any inking to do, so you might want to ink the flowers for example, that needs to be done before the event on this one because we are on quite a tight time schedule on this one. So we do want to get it built quite quickly. So everything needs to be ready. If you've got any comments or questions you can ask them below or you can ask them on the event post in the group. As always, thank you so much for watching and we look forward to building with you. Bye!